there is this thing that we do. Let me kill time. Eh? You even have free time, you are killing. Hey, Allahu Akbar. Sallallahu Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Let's kill. I, I want to see how time has been killed. Man. Maybe Talqeen will be recited. <laughs> you kill time. So if you've got nothing, there is no Quran to be recited. No, I just want to kill time. Pass, I'm just passing time, Sheikh. No. So every single moment that has been wasted in dunya, it will create a vacuum on the day of Qiyamah as per this tradition of the Holy Prophet of Islam. So no darkness, no light, no benefits. And this tradition is to equip us and encourage us to make... You know what I'm trying to do is what? I know your dunya, you're okay. My interest is connecting with Allah and Ahlul Bayt. Make the best out of your time to connect with Allah and Ahlul Bayt. You know, our problem is what? It's one thing. Seriously. Our problem is that there is something which is found everywhere but little is felt about. That is Allah. Allah is everywhere. But little we feel about Allah. That's the challenge we have. And that is what about Abdullah stood for on the 10th day of Muharram. That's what about Abdullah salam, educated us. And that is what I and you need to strive and compete in reaching there. We need to emulate not even about Abdullah. We need to emulate Kambar. We need to emulate Maitam Tamar. They were ordinary human beings from a very poor background, poor family, no technology, there was nothing. But they excelled because they spent their time wisely. And when they spend their time wisely, Ahlul Bayt would intercede on their behalf. On the... Baba, Shafa is not a joke. Don't get carried away, you're going to get Shafa overnight. Let me give an example. This happened in, Kar in Najaf. Ayatollah, one of the Ayatollah was given Dars Kharij in the holy shrine of Mawla'i Kainat. There was this gentleman, Iranian, who loves Ziyara, like some of us. So he would always come to Najaf and spend months and then he would go back. So he came to Najaf. And whenever he was in Najaf, he would attend the classes of that marja. So there were some moments when he was absent, although he was in Najaf. Well, this is a true story. So the marja inquired as to the reason for his absence. So the marja was told he was ill and really critical. So marja said, look, let's go visit him after class. I just want to show you the love of Al Bayt. It's not a joke. Haba Baba. <laughs> it's not a joke. It needs some excellent hearts. Now the Marja went to visit this gentleman. The gentleman was like really in Sakarat. He was dying. So Marja sat next to him with some of his students. Marja looked at this guy. This guy couldn't speak properly, but he could answer here and there. So the Marja said to him, Say, La ilaha illallah. So the man said, La ilaha illallah. Correct. And then the Marja said, Say Muhammadur Rasulullah. Then he said, Muhammadun Rasulullah. Then the Marja said to him, Say Aliyun Waliyullah. He got stuck. He got stuck. Wallah, Marja repeated for the second time. Allah, Muhammad, Ali, stuck. Third time, Allah, Muhammad, got to Ali, stuck. Marja tried everything. The guy wouldn't say Ali, yun wali, yun la. This is the person everybody thought is like malaika, is good. Is... Marja naturally got tired, was late, they left. Allah, out of wisdom, gave this man another chance to live, to survive. He got cured. He got cured. But when he got cured, he was embarrassed. So he did not go back to the class. So one day the marja was walking. You know, those of you who have been to Najaf, our marja sometimes they will walk 
in Najaf, they will pass the market, they will go to the haram of Aba, uh, Amir al muminin So he was going, then he saw this man standing next to a bookshop. So he looked at him, said, are you the one who uh, came into the class? And he said, yes. The merger said, I thought you left this world, but I would really love to talk to you. So the merger sat next to him. He said, what happened? Allah, you said Allah. Muhammad, you said Muhammad. Ali, you said Muhammad. Wallah, he began to cry. He said, you know, Hazrat, he's referring to the marja. When you were telling me Allah, I was saying Muhammad, I was saying, saying Ali, I had some money with me. And that money, my plan was to buy sugati. Those who know Iran, when you travel, you get sugati. Sugati means gifts. To buy gifts. So when you were telling me Ali, something was appearing to me and telling me, if you say Ali, you lose this money. When you say Ali, and I will say, ah, ah, say no, if you say Ali, you lose this money. Then the marja said, this is lack of sincerity in your wilaya for Amir al muminin Your heart is crucial for Ahlul Bayt. It's very important. So let your times and hours filled with good stuff. Do away with negativities. Somebody negative, leave him. Don't worry. The number four way of taking advantage of every moment of our life is musara'a. Is to haste in doing good. You come in Muharram, somebody meets you out there, said, can you help with the car park? Don't think twice. Because that opportunity may not come again. Some people are telling them, come, they are going back, come, they are going back. Wallah, you regret it one day. Be lucky. Eh, 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 be happy. You are invited to come and serve the cause of al Bayt. Quran chapter Ali Imran 133 Allah said wasari'u ila magfiratin mir rabbikum wa jannatun arduha samawati wal ard u'iddat lil muttaqin Allah said haste to the forgiveness of Allah in other words haste in doing good you know when you come to the mosque like this in Muharram you need to see people competing to serve the cause of Abba Abdullah is an opportunity for us. We need to compete. You go to the haram of Aima. There are doctors. There are top-notch engineers. Wallah, who would register one month, two months, no opportunity to help the zuwar of Abba Abdullah? Sari'u. Chapter Bakara 148 said what? Fastabiku be in the forefront of doing khair. Compete in serving the cause of A'immat al-Masumin alayhi salam. Mulai Kainat mentioned, do it now. He said, Ya ayyuha nas, al-an, al-an. Imam Ali. He said, oh people, now, now, now. Don't postpone. The life is not in your hand. Take advantage of that. Said, come teach madrasa problem. No, when I come, they judge me too much. They, Baba, you are not doing for anyone. You are preparing souls for Imam Zaman. Allah, divide your time. Don't run behind dunya only. Dunya is too dry. It's too cold. It will throw you somewhere. It's so important. Prophet Nuh was asked by Jibreel. Allah sent Jibreel to Prophet Nuh. To ask him, how does he define dunya? He said, dunya is like a room with two doors. You enter in one door and you exit from one door. That's dunya. You enter here, you exit there. That is dunya. And so, sari'u. Rush. Compete. Be in the forefront of reciting the mercy. Be in the forefront of reciting the Quran. In fact, go and ask them, is there any opportunity for me to serve the Madlis of Abba Abdullah? It's an opportunity for all of us. I always tell people, when you sit on this member, you are not doing 
favor to anyone. You know why? Imam Hassan al Askari never had a member like this. He did not have people sitting next to him to talk. He was on parole. He used to give signs to his people. Sign in Samarra. Because he had to go and report. So he would come out, he would do a sign. And then they would pick up as to what he was trying to indicate to. He never had like this. They did not allow him. They abbas it. We are blessed. It's an opportunity to serve Aimmat al-Masumin. 